Once again, welcome back, students. And we want to do a racial problem from math paper one. If you can see, it says a man has two hundred and eighty dollars and share it with his three kids in a ratio of one to two to three. And the problem has A and B. It says how much did ratio one receive, and B, how much did ratio two receive? So we want to find how much ratio one and ratio two receive. So we don't need to go to three because you could follow the same step from one and two and you could find ratio three. Remember, you can subscribe for more videos. So let's get right into the problem. So if you see a problem like this for PSC, these are the steps you're going to follow. So first, the problem says the man has how much? $280 and share it with his three kids in a ratio of one to two to three. So we want to solve A. A says, how much did ratio 1 receive? We're looking for ratio 1. So it's 1 times how much money the man has? $280. 1 times $280 divided by your total ratio. How do we find our total ratio? By simply adding 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus 3 is is six so to find your total ratio you will add the three different persons because each one get this different ratio so one plus two three and three plus three is six so we're going to divide our total ratio so we multiply one times 280 and that gives us 280 divided by six so we're going to divide 280 by six and that will tell us how much ratio one got so now we're dividing to find out how much ratio one get and six could go into 28 four times and six times four is 24 what do you minus 28 from 24 we have four six cannot go into four so you bring down your zero so now you ask yourself how many times can six go into 40 Six times, and six times six is 36. And when we minus 40 from 36, we're left with four. We use up all our numbers, so you ask yourself, six can go into four, can't? The rule is, because you're dealing with money, you add a decimal and bring down a zero. Six could go into 46 times. Six times six is 36. And when you minus, you get four. All right, so we continue the problem. Six cannot go into four. You don't need to add another decimal, but you could add another zero. We'll step at two decimal places. And six could go into 40, six times, and six times six, 36. When you minus, you're left with four. And if we continue, we'll go on and on and on and on and on, and we will get six, 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 six. So how much did the ratio one receive? $46.66. Again, let's do a quick review of what we did to get this answer. First, question A says, how much did ratio 1 receive? So it's ratio 1 times the total amount of money the man is sharing, which is $280, divided by 6. Why 6? Because your total ratio, 1 plus 2, 3, plus 3, 6. So your total ratio is 6. Then we multiply 1 times 280 is 280 divided by 6. And when we divide this 280 by 6, we get $46.66. So ratio A got $46.66. Okay, so let's go right into it. Now we're finding B. And B says, how much did ratio 2 receive? So you're looking for ratio 2, so it's Two times the total amount of money that the man has, which is $280. 280 divided by your total ratio, which is 6. So your total ratio will be 6 even if you find how much for ratio 3. Why? Because the total ratio, you just add ratio 1 with ratio 2 plus ratio 3. And when you add all these three numbers together, that gives you your total ratio, which is 6. So you could divide by 6. Now for ratio 2, 
we could cancel out 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 6, 3. So now when we multiply, 1 times 280, it's 280 divided by 3. So how do we get 280 divided by 3? Because we could cancel out from top to bottom. 2 could go into 2, 1, and 2 could go into 6, 3 times. And so it means that we multiply you now the top with the top 1 times 280, 280 divided by 3. So we're going to divide that, and we will get our answer. So let's quickly divide that 280 by 3, and that will tell you how much ratio 2 receive. So 3 could go into 28 9 times, and 9 times 3 is 27. When you minus 28 from 27, you get 1. 3 cannot go into 1, so you bring down your 0, and you have 10. So 3 could go into 10 3 times, and 3 times 3 is 9. And when you minus 10 from 9, you're left with 1. We use up all our number, and because it's money, we want to go to two decimal places. So 3 cannot go into 1. The rule is you add your decimal, and after adding your decimal, you bring down a 0. 3 could go into 10, 3 times, 3 times 3, 9. When you minus 10 from 9, you get 1. 3 cannot go into 1. We could always add more zeros, but we only want to do it one more time, since in a problem like this, you usually stop at two decimal places. So we add another 0, and 3 could go into 10. 3 times and 3 times 3, 9. When we minus 10 from 9, we're left with 1. And if we continue to add 0 to this number, we'll go on and on and on, and we'll get 3, 3, 3. So two decimal places is good. So it's $93.33 for ratio 2. Once again, a quick review. What did we do? The problem asked us how much did ratio 2 receive. So we start with 2. 2 times the amount of money that the person is sharing, which is $280, divided by 6. How did we get 6 here? Because we add the ratio of the three persons. And you will usually do that to get your total ratio. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6. So it means that we'll divide what we have here by 6. So we'll cross multiply. 2 could go into 2, 1. 2 could go into 6, 3. And we multiply 1 times 280, which is 280, divided by our 3. And when we divide 3 by 280, we get $93.33. And the problem is solved for ratio 2. Ratio 2 received $93.33. And if you wanted to find ratio 3, you will do the same. 3 times the 280 divided by your 6, which is your total ratio. Remember, your total ratio could change. It depends on how the person is sharing. Sometimes it's 4 to 5 to 6, but in this case, it's 1 to 2 to 3, and that's how we get 6 as our total ratio. Remember, you can subscribe for more videos. Thanks for viewing and share with a person that is in standard 6.